Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. I'm um, going to do a bit of unboxing this time because this has been a long time in the waiting. I've been waiting for this thing for 21 years. <laughs> I finally have it. It is Anakin Skywalker's pod racer from Episode 1 The Phantom Menace. Um, if you told me when I was 12 that I'd have to wait 20 years for this, I would have bought it probably sooner. <laughs> uh, but I'm really excited to have this thing. I've been on a little bit of a Phantom Menace kick. Um, if you watched my live stream last week, I sort of discussed that. I, uh, and my recent video going over all the pod racer characters um, inspired me to go and pick up this. Um, so yeah, I'll be, I'll be hunting for Sebulbas next. Um, but I actually got this for a really good price. Um, and it came packed really well. So um, looks like it may have been open before, at least the, the tape seal has broken there on the side, but um, that's all right. I'm sure everything is packed in as it should. So let's crack it open. All right, this is seriously cool. I'm so excited to open this thing up. Like I said, the tape was open, so it's just a easy, simple slide. Pull that out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, brilliant. I'm so excited. All right, so there is, we've got the old twist tires. I don't miss these at all. So we have little Anakin Skywalker. Looks pretty good. Obviously pre-posed. <laughs> so we can uh, fit in the pod racer, but I like the like the helmet, that's all it's a moulded piece. Alright, I'll just put him aside. Now let's see what we've got here. More twist ties. Uh, what have we got in here? Oh, okay. It's just the uh, the labels, so we've got some stickers there. Okay, so they've already been used, so that means this has uh, just been repacked by the looks of things. All the stickers are, are on it again. That's fine. That saves me a prob a <laughs> saves me some trouble. Um, I hate doing stickers. I always get them in the wrong spot. What we have here sort of the fins. So I'm just going to put them aside for the second. Get some of other crap out of the way. And I will speed through the untying. Alright, so here I have the pod racer in all its glory. I assume they just plug it into there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty sturdy wire. That's actually holds pretty well. I'm very impressed with that. That's really cool. Let's get a look at the details on this thing. It looks pretty nice. So those controls sort of pivot around. Don't know whether any of this stuff comes out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to looking forward to goofing around with this thing. All right, let's try and get these other bits on. So we do have the. Uh... I do realise I just have it on backwards. So <laughs> fix that up nice and quickly. There we go. Right. I assume all these are the same. They appear to be. So it doesn't matter where they go. They plug on pretty easy. That's nice. Same on the other side. Go. Okay, so we've got the little play feature here of the triggers. Man, I would have loved this as a kid, seriously. 
there's part of me that wants to sort of pull all those you know gizmos and gadgets out and and put them on flush so I may end up doing that um, but for now I'm just gonna leave it and uh, enjoy it because it's kind of cool I love the way it just sort of sits there and that hangs I don't have to worry about anything other engine components on the bottom now let's get a little Annie to sit inside this thing Okay, that's all I'm gonna get. That's as close as I'm gonna get it for the moment. But that's pretty cool. I do like me a pod racer. That is sweet. Yeah, I, I love it. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, I just want to go run out around at the backyard. <laughs> Take it down to the beach. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. This has been a pretty fun little unboxing. I'm really happy with this thing. I really want to get the bulbers now. This is so cool. So, Wizard Annie. so I did go and um, customize this thing pretty much straight after I said I'd think about it um, so basically I, I basically opened it all up unscrewed there's about seven screws underneath um, you need to pop these little side bits off just because that's where the um, plastic connects so I separated it all um, pulled all the sort of the springy mechanisms from the triggers took all them out um, put it all back together glued some of it back together put these uh glued those little triggers back in um just simply because you know it didn't want to leave the gaping holes there um and then i got a drill bit to match the uh the rods that went in the ga gaps there and just bored a hole out just so they'd fit in nice and snug super glued these things in so they don't stick out they, they were sticking out about that far before um and now they're nice nice and flush a little bit wonky but that's just because uh the mechanism you know forced them to stick out a little bit further than that whereas that's just a little bit in the way there but that's not a big deal i'm okay with that um so these are just sort of these side bits here are just sort of manually able to be open and closed now um, i may even just add a little dob of glue just to tighten that up a little bit um just sort of keep moving it while the glue dries and that's pretty much all I did. Um, so I've got it on display. I love this thing. I am running around, running out of room to, for things to display in here. So I uh, got to be sparing. And I do want to get Sebulba's pod racer. So I will have to make some space for that as well at some point. When I do track one down. So again, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate all your comments, feedback, likes. All that sort of good stuff. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. May the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.